Welcome to CBT News with Bridget Fitzpatrick. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to CBT News. I'm Bridget Fitzpatrick. Thank you so much for joining us today. Coming up later on Inside Automotive is Matt Easton, world-class sales trainer, consultant, and founder of Easton University. But first, here are today's top stories. Tesla released its Q2 earnings earlier this week and exceeded analyst expectations despite COVID-related closures at its Shanghai production facility. However, the quarter marked the end of Tesla's record revenue reporting. Revenue was $16.9 billion, falling from $18.76 billion in Q1. Earnings per share were $2.27, and the EV maker delivered 254,695 vehicles. Additionally, the company says it sold 75% of its Bitcoin holdings, adding $936 million in cash to its balance sheet. Ford Motor Company announced on Thursday that it will purchase lower-cost lithium-ion batteries from Chinese battery leader CATL for its electric pickup trucks and SUVs sold in North America. Ford is also working on a larger alliance with CATL as well as several other separate agreements to secure battery and battery minerals through the next 10 years. Ford claims that it has already obtained almost 70% of the battery capacity required to meet its plan to assemble over 2 million EVs globally by the end of 2026. Many dealer groups and OEMs are struggling to meet the demands of their customers as problems with the global supply chain continue. AutoNation, the country's number one auto retailer, fell short of Wall Street expectations for the second quarter of 2022. According to AutoNation, new vehicle sales decreased 14% from a year ago. In an interview with Reuters, CEO Mike Manley said, quote, supply is still going to be constrained in the balance of this year. In used vehicles, in lower price bands, we have some mitigation of demand. The company also announced that it would soon acquire CIG Financial to boost its used vehicle sales. General Motors and Ford Motors have separately requested exemptions from U.S. safety regulators regarding deploying self-driving vehicles without steering wheels and brakes. Both OEMs seek to deploy 2,500 vehicles per year, this is the maximum permitted by law, for ride sharing and delivery services. A spokesperson for Ford stated, quote, the petition is an important step toward helping create a regulatory path that allows autonomous technologies to mature over time, eliminating controls and displays that are only useful to human drivers. Don't go anywhere. Coming up next is Matt Easton, sales trainer, consultant, and founder of Easton University. We'll be right back. Hey everyone, it's Steve Greenfield broadcasting from the CBT studios here in Atlanta. Tune in every week for my Friday Five segment where I recap the week's biggest and most important M&A activity and investment activity in the automotive space. I look forward to seeing you every Friday on the Friday Five on CBT News. Are you a sales manager tasked with hiring and recruiting top salespeople? Often sales managers start out as excellent salespeople, but are not given the proper training to develop a hiring strategy of their own. Today on Inside Automotive, we're pleased to welcome back Matt Easton, sales trainer, consultant, and founder of Easton University. He discusses the characteristics and skills that sales managers should look for when hiring new salespeople. Take a look. This is a problem that we yeah. hear so much about. Managers uh, are, are given that task of hiring good salespeople, but all too often, and I was one of them, I, I have to admit, I, was I wasn't too. given the training on how to hire people, or although that was part of my job responsibility. And I know I made a ton of mistakes in hiring people. I know? did as well. And I think probably you, your background was similar to mine in that you were really great at sales, so of course the natural progression is let's make Jim a manager. That's right. It's exactly what happened. Just because right. you're a great offensive yes. lineman does not necessarily mean <laughs> you're a good head coach. Correct. That's exactly. right. Exactly. But and that's just what we face. Yeah. And and the problem is too with a lot of those training, and there's some fantastic people in human resources. Yeah. I am not one. Sales right. is my specialty, human right. resources is not it. Sure. But also the human resources people that are providing the training for the people that do get the training. Yeah. Well, guess what? They don't live in the sales world. Yeah, I know. So I know. how do they tell a manager what to look for? I know, I know. So what, what's the key? If you were a manager today and you had to hire you know, a team of salespeople, what, what's the proper way to conduct an interview just to get that, that right person? Yeah, so the, the, the things that I would look for, all right? First off, here's what doesn't work. And here's what probably you did. And I did this agnosium before okay. I figured it out. You look for pedigree, mm -hmm. right? 
uh, first thing you're always going to look for is did this person work for my competition? Right. Did this? Uh, I'm checking the resume to see where they work. Right. Okay. That does not. It didn't work so great before, but it doesn't work today because a lot of times the people that were successful in yesterday's world of sales. Mm -hmm. Are the exact opposite of the people that right. you want on your team right. today, and it could be that that other company said, "Hey, go bye bye," and you know we we really don't need you on our team. And then you think, "Okay, this guy must have been good, or this person must have been good. Let's get him in here." When that could be nothing further from the truth. Correct. And the other, besides pedigree, the the other, and, and you tell me if this resonates with you at all. The other thing, because I'll admit that I made this mistake. The other thing that we look for is almost a mirror reflection of ourselves. Yeah. Right? Yes. Do yes. they look like me? Do they talk like me? Do they have the same manners as of yep. me? Because I was successful. That's and right. we're not mind readers, Jim. Like just because somebody comes in and they maybe have the the look that you're looking for. That's right. Does not mean they're it took you a lot to be as successful as you are. Right. right? Even from going from that sales position to being promoted to a manager the first time. Right. Just because somebody acts, looks like you does not mean they're going to have your work ethic. Right. So pedigree and similarity, I would have those take a back seat. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right. Be sure to watch this interview in its entirety right here at CBTnews.com. That wraps up our show for today, but we invite you to join us back here again tomorrow morning for all the latest news and trends impacting the retail automotive industry. And be sure to follow us on TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Bridget Fitzpatrick. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Thanks for watching CBT News, the voice of the retail automotive industry.